Hey there everyone, Phil2 here and welcome to my channel. Have you ever found yourself being low on some materials that you needed to craft certain items inside your valley, especially Iridium? Since Iridium is quite important in the game, having huge amounts of it can help you a lot in your progress. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way you can get huge amounts of Iridium from a Skull Caverns run. But before we start the video, consider subbing to the channel so you can keep up with my latest videos and if you're feeling especially amazing today, feel free to leave a like on the video since it helps me with the algorithm a lot. So without any further ado, let's begin. To get Iridium, the more easy way, the most important thing you need to know is that you need a lot of staircases. Staircases are really useful, but to craft one you need 99 stone and let's be honest, who has time to farm that much stone? There is a way how you can get a lot of staircases without any effort at all. For this trick, you just need a crystallarium and one jade. Jade is important as you can trade a single jade for a staircase at the desert trader on a Sunday, which doesn't have a limit on how many staircases you can purchase. This is where the crystallarium comes into play, as you can craft a few of those and just fill them up with jades which needs only 2 days for it to be duplicated, meaning you can stack up on a lot of jade from the start of the game. The only issue would be crafting the crystallariums, which is quite expensive and costs 2 iridium bars, 5 gold bars, 1 battery pack and 99 stone. So crafting a lot of these can be an issue, but even with a few crystallariums you can still get huge amounts of jade. With this you won't have to farm stone or buy it from Robin, as you need enormous amounts of stone to craft the required amount of staircases. You just need to gather jade through the season and you'll get the required amount after a certain time. After you get enough jade to trade in for staircases, you can begin your run. As you start your day, get all of your required items for the run. Some lugbug foods, a desert totem, if you don't have the desert war pillar yet, because this is an important step as with this you can start the Skull Caverns run much faster since you won't depend on Pam's schedule since she takes her time going to work and you can even start your run even more early as most of the time you arrive around 10 am if you take the bus to the desert. But with the totem you can already be mining away without any worries. You can also get a farm totem so you can get back to the farm before the day ends so you don't pass out in the Skull Caverns. Just remember, the Desert Trader trades in jades for staircases only on a Sunday, so you can plan your run around this. Now, as you start your Skull Caverns run, begin by placing the stairs as you go down. If you do this fast enough, you'll notice that the time doesn't pass and with this you can reach really deep in the caverns with a lot of time to spare. Just be careful. Since when going down, sometimes there will be stones or terrain blocking the path, so you won't be able to place any stairs there, meaning you will lose a few seconds of your time, but it will probably be ok since those levels are quite rare. Another important thing you should keep an eye out before you start your run is your luck level. The most optimal time to do this run will be on a lucky day, where you can craft a few extra lucky food that will give you a luck buff and if you can use Key's special seasoning to boost the luck buff even more, it would be even better since with that you can find a lot of the treasure floors in the skull caverns on your way down which can have very useful items which are pretty rare like the auto petter or the auto grabber for free. And also it will boost your chance greatly in finding iridium. Before you head down to the caverns below, Make sure you're equipped with a lot of explosive devices so you can get that sweet mouth-watering iridium, since if you try to get it with a pickaxe, you need a lot of hits just to break the ore. With the bombs however, you just place a bomb and she will destroy the iridium instantly. That's why having a lot of bombs is crucial to a successful iridium run in the skull caverns, since if you run out of it, you will need to use materials that you gathered in the skull caverns but those can be used for other things as well. So before you start the run, make sure you have enough bombs. While going down in the mines, focus on big clusters of iridium ore and don't go for the few scattered ones around the floor. You'll just waste time for a few measly iridium, whereas if you aim for the bottom floors which have bigger clusters of ores bunched up, 
With a single bomb and a little time, you can get a really big amount of Iridium, and you will save on time. With this, you will maximize your Iridium gathering proficiency, and with one run, you can get a lot of the ore, which can be used for quite some time. As you can see, from my run, being in a hurry to try to save time sometimes can lead to wasted stairs due to some obstacles in the path, but you still save a lot of time. On some floors, you can be swarmed by monsters, so try to avoid fighting them, so you can have more time to gather Iridium ore on the lower levels. From my whole run, we managed to reach level 345 in the Skull Caverns and got a whopping 580 Iridium ore, which can last me for a few seasons before running out. Along the way, we weren't lucky enough to get a few of the rare machines like the Autopeter and the Autograbber, but we managed to get our hands on an extra crystallarium, a white turban, a few consumables and also 7 prismatic shards, which we got along the way from mining Iridium ore. Getting this many prismatic shards on a beginner farm can be really awesome, but it's not that special for late game farms. By doing this run, you can get a lot of new items as well, but it all depends on your luck level. You don't know what kinds of items you're gonna get, and every Skull Caverns run is different. You may get different amounts of Iridium and other ores as well, but you can get more or less also. The main factor that you need to look out in this run is the time. Time is so precious on this run, since you need a lot of time to get to the lowest levels to get the most Iridium ore. And by losing time on staircases or enemies as well, you won't be able to get your ideal number of Iridium ore for you to process later on the farm. I hope I managed to show you something that will help you in your progress with Iridium farming on your farm, so you can never have the problem of not having any Iridium for crafting. If you know any similar tricks of getting materials faster and easier, feel free to tell me about them in the comment section below as I always want to learn new ways myself. In any case, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next one. But till then, stay safe.